So Jeff, one of the things that we've seen come out of Intel's research into the misuse of compromised uh, keys and certificates is that right now, there are over 40 million pieces of malware out in the wild that are enabled through the use of compromised certificates. 40 million. Back in 2012, Intel had found just was 5 million pieces of malware that are enabled with compromised certificates. It's a huge increase over the last few years. And Intel expects that the next big cyber criminal marketplace, the thing that the bad guys really want to go for, is going to be in the sale, the resale of compromised certificates. Uh, and it's no wonder because it enables, of course, bad guys to undermine a whole set of security controls. What type of security controls, Jeff, have you seen that uh, bad guys have been able to, uh, to get around uh, by using those compromised certificates? They can get around every security control by using compromised certificates. And if you think of the evolution of how this has happened, engineers put, made a requirement to put a certificate on a, on a piece of software so that it would be trusted and it would run. The bad guys figured out if they had that same certificate and somehow they could steal it and put it on their malware, the malware would be trusted and it would run. So now there's 40 million pieces of malware out there that are trusted and run and steal data. So now the bad guys are really smart. They see how well this works. So if they can steal certificates that give them access to other things, they're going to do it. And they know how powerful it is. Because just a piece of malware running is one thing. But getting a certificate that allows you to do a man-in-the-middle attack on a large bank website can give you the ability to steal all the credentials from the users, from anybody you want, which gives you almost unfettered access to unlimited financial funds or intellectual property or a host of other things. So the power of that stolen certificate is so large that they are going for very large amounts of money in the underground market. And Intel expects that price of a compromised certificate to spike, um, going from where it is $1,000 today to go on up. And it's, it's really uh, no wonder, too, how bad guys are able to get keys and certificates. There are thousands of Trojans that are enabled off the shelf to be able to steal keys and certificates, exfiltrate them, and get them to the bad guys, which makes it really, really easy for then criminals to bring them to the underground marketplace, sell them, again, bring more and more inventory in uh, that's, that's fresh. Just like what we've seen before with credit cards, now is being played out with stolen certificates. And that's why Intel expects it to be the biggest cyber criminal marketplace over the next few years.